Welcome to another Simon Busker short. This is minute number three of your 30 minute workout on the sax. Everybody says you need to control your oral cavity. Me, I haven't got an oral cavity control. I don't know why, I can't control it. I do my best. I'm just, a, I'm not trying to train you. I'm not a teacher. I'm just saying this is what you're supposed to go through. And the better you can control things around the throat area there, the better. Anyway, first things first, blow a long note. Long, consistent, same pitch note from just the mouthpiece. And you're, if you're a god like Jamie Anderson, then you can drop it from roughly an F sharp or a G down to a top G, down to a B flat. He does it without dropping his mouthpiece. Don't get, don't, I don't even want to go there. All I'm saying is that's what you're supposed to do. Then you attach the mouthpiece to the neck and then the idea is to do the same thing again. trying to create a sort of yawning feeling in your throat. So you know what you know what your throat's like when it yawns? Well, it opens, the whole oral cavity opens and the larger the space in your throat and the oral cavity, which is your mouth and that, and the further back your tongue goes, I think, although, you know, like I said, I'm not a teacher. I'm just sort of taking you through the process. <laughs> to have it nice and consistent and you're not supposed to press with the bottom part of your of your lip up hard you're supposed to keep it loose as loose as you can possibly manage it in fact there's a big question about why you should start off without it on the bottom at all and then gradually you bring in bottom of your lip bottom lip up until just by just gently lifting it up and the moment you can get a consistent tone out of it you stop you don't go any further and you really work hard on stopping that bottom lip pushing up on the reef because the more it pushes up on the reef the less it flaps about the less it flaps about the worse your tone gets it becomes just a high-pitched screech a bit like a, a clarinet on steroids so that's minute three minute four and you're getting towards the five minute point. So you spent the first five minutes not really playing the saxophone, but focusing on just getting consistent tones out of the mouthpiece, out of the neck. Then finally you attach it to here and you start off on your circle of fifths. This is a circle of fifths. If you haven't got it, you need to find it, okay? If you haven't got one of those, and I realise it might come up the wrong way around, but if you haven't got one of those, you need to download one off the internet. Plenty of sites where to get it from. And so the you start off with, and I always have an app called Tonal Energy Running, and I find that very useful. And um, uh, what it does is it allows me to tune. So I can start off on C. <laughs> Do a nice long consistency until it's nice and even not wimpy but even wimpy means with lots of air slipping out down the sides of the mouthpiece and underneath the mouthpiece and all that you've got to get a good seal on the mouthpiece but you mustn't push you mustn't tighten it
big school of thought, which way do you go? Do you go uh, top, you know, go C to bottom C? Mm -hmm. When you've just started off, um, uh, to start off on a B flat is a tough one, but it's one, it's an art and a skill you've got to learn. You've got to be able to produce a low note, a sane low note, not a donkey, a sane low note. And so you go round the circle of fifths. I've shown you the circle of fifths once, right? You go around C, D, E, F, and you go right right from the bottom to the top. Really starting at B flat, really, that's what we should be doing because that's what Dr. Wally goes on about, something called uh, Exercise Zero. Um, if you want to download Exercise Zero from Dr. Wally, that starts you off. So trying to get it there. So how do you get that nice foghorn, good B flat? Take a deep breath. Stick your tongue on the end of the reed so there's no air going through it. Seal your mouth and not particularly pleasant. I'm not trying to be a teacher. I'm not trying to educate you. I'm saying this is what I do to go through my section. So I start off on a B flat. My uh, shoulders rose. I saw myself in the video. It's very, very useful. Okay.